Thanks. Today, we're going to show you three things that demonstrate our vision for the future of productivity. First, how Microsoft services work across contexts and devices. Second, how developers can leverage the Microsoft Graph to build device intelligence right into their apps. And third, how we're bringing together our productivity platform to optimize the meeting experience. Hey, Cortana, what's my day look like? I found three events today. First up, at 9 a.m. you have a meeting titled Packaging Review. It looks like you're low on fuel, so I suggest leaving 10 minutes early to make your 9 a.m. meeting on time. Also, you got an update from Expedia confirming flights and a hotel room. Right. That's the upcoming vacation I have, so I better let my boss know. Hey, Cortana. Ask time away to set my out of office from Monday to Friday. OK, you're marked as out of office from Monday to Friday. Your auto reply message is set, and your time off has been entered in the time away system. Awesome. Developers can create Cortana skills that work across platforms, like this example with the Invoke speaker, where Cortana's working directly with my work's time off system to fulfill my request. Hey, Cortana, do I have any other reminders for today? You mentioned you would provide a list of designers for review in today's meeting. Right. Remind me when I get to the car. Got it. With the device graph, I'm able to push this notification to any of my devices. So I could push it to my Xbox, but since I'm headed that way, I've gone ahead and set it to my car. Now don't laugh, it gets great fuel economy. So with the help of Cortana, I'm fueled up and ready to make my meeting on time. There's an accident on 520 that will make you late for your 9 a.m. meeting. Would you like me to let the other attendees know and connect you when it starts? Yes, please. OK, I'll let you know. <clears throat> Guess I spoke too soon. Hi, Laura. Just a reminder to provide a list of designers for your packaging review meeting. Ask LinkedIn to pull all the designers from my network. I found all the designers in your network. Would you like me to read out the top five or send you a summary? Send a summary to my product review channel. OK, I added that to your team channel. Because Cortana is aware of the device I'm on, she's able to provide me with contextually appropriate responses so I can take the best next step. Hi, Laura. Your meeting is about to start. Should I connect you? Yes, please. Hey, folks, I'm running a little late, but go ahead and get started without me. No worries, Laura. We got your note earlier. So while Laura joins, let me take a second and show you guys around Microsoft Teams. For those of you that haven't seen it, this is Microsoft Teams, the new chat-based collaborative workspace in Office 365. And we're in a Teams meeting. Now, one of the great features in Teams is tabs. Using tabs, I can take anything that I access most frequently, whether it's documents, any third-party content, or like this Power BI tab here, which has our survey results. And I can pin it in my channel. And from there, I can easily screen share it straight into my meeting. Now, one of the most disruptive things that can happen in a meeting is when someone enters the room late or enters the call late. Now, what if I could simply just walk into the meeting? And just like that, the Teams app has turned into companion mode because it's aware of my context. Windows is adding two new components to the Microsoft Graph. Activities like this meeting that I'm in or a document that I might be working on throughout the day, and devices like this iOS device. Here, we're using Project Roam to adapt my app based on the fact that I've walked into a meeting. Developers can leverage these APIs through the Project Roam SDK to bridge the gaps between people, apps, devices, and services, and enable truly mobile experiences. Hi, Laura. Hi, Rashir. Hi, Fatima. How are things going with the focus group data? Hey, uh, 
Yeah, I looked at the data last night. Uh, the demographic that we're aiming for prefers a cleaner font with more blues and greens. Okay, good to know. Let's go ahead and pull up the LinkedIn list that I sent from the car. Sure. Let me share the LinkedIn tab. I've worked with Joe before on a similar project. Rashir, would you mind pulling up some of his current work? Sure. Now, in my team's meetings, I can also chat with my channel's bots. And developers can use the Microsoft Bot Framework to light up some amazing conversational experiences in team's meetings. Let me show you one. Adobe Creative Cloud Bot. Show me Joe Manzo's recent projects. That looks cool. Laura, saying that you worked with Joe before, do you mind making the connection for us? Yeah, sure thing. Great. Meeting spot. Assign task to Laura to connect with Joe on the packaging project. Great. Now that that's done, I wanted to show you guys the latest comps for the packaging. With the Teams companion app, I'm able to share video and photo straight into the meeting. Now, I think it's a little retro, but let me know what you guys think. <laughs> yeah, that's retro. Right, well, hopefully Joe can bring it up to date. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye, Thanks. Fatma. So when I get back to my desk and open up my laptop, Cortana's waiting there for me with an action item from earlier in the day. When I click on the notification, it takes me to Outlook, where there's an email with my meeting summary. It has the attendee list, the video links, the tabs used, and the bot interactions. Best of all, here's my action item. I could go ahead and mark it as complete right in the email, but I want to dig in a bit more. Developers could add content to this actionable email or create Outlook plugins like this one from Microsoft Stream. When I click on the plugin, the Stream service gives me a transcription of the meeting. I can see key points, when they were made, and who made them. This way, I can get the context that I need to complete my action item. And of course, the Stream service uses the publicly available Microsoft Translation APIs, so I can get this in the language of my choice. So what you've seen us show you today are Teams and Cortana, two services leveraging the Intelligent Edge and Microsoft Graph. With hero experiences like these, we are able to turn any device into a productivity device so I can move fluidly throughout my day, no matter where I am. Developers can leverage the Microsoft Graph to create systems of intelligence that will fundamentally change the future and culture of work. Thank you.